Welcome back guys. In this video, we will introduce the types of new networks and some important components of new networks. Let's get a quick start of it. And uh, the first multi-layer fully connected artificial neural networks in the previous course. Uh, we know a single perception has the limited represent capability and uh, can only represent a linear decision uh, surface. If we connect many perceptions like human brains and thus and then re, uh, replace the activity functions with non-linear functions, we can expect the wide range of the non-linear surface. Look at picture. Each node uh, in the previous ledger can connect uh, all the nodes of the next layer and uh, each node have the activity function that is a activity function this is also the activity function in hardening layers how to update the parameters of the weight and uh, uh, to how to calculate that and we should know the feed forward neural networks work when we input our data and uh, uh, the we will calculate the output and we will calculate the bias and then we update uh, the parameters the layers by layers from the input layers to the output layers and it's very uh, widely used uh, to we used uh, the uh, theories to uh, build the neural networks the back propagation algorithms is different from the feed forward directions that's the feed forward from the uh, input layers to the output layers and uh, the out the feedback directions and is uh, called the DP algorithms is from the output layers and then comes from the uh, input layers that will uh, calculate the derivative from the uh, the output layers and uh, then from the, and we then update our data to the input our layers and uh, first we should uh, when we input uh, our data and uh, we calculate uh, uh, the results and then uh, get uh, the output uh, result and so uh, then we will get uh, the first and then to calculate the epsilon and uh, use the epsilon to update uh, uh, the, the weight and then if the uh, it's not uh, the output uh, and we will c calculate uh, the epsilon g as like that and uh, it will start to calculate uh, the the hiding layers uh, the epsilon and everything we get uh, these values and we will get uh, uh, calculate the delta uh, w and then we will upload our, our data and the update uh, some the parameters uh, that's like that and about the directions and firstly we should get the output result and then to back to update our weights now we have already learned the basic neural networks and uh, fully connecting the new work work and uh, feed forward and feedback the way to update the bit and of course the connecting neural networks is hard to calculate the gradient descent so we can't build the two deeper neural networks uh, that's a limit of the full uh, fully connected neural network so uh, convolutional neural network was proposed in the 1960s Herbert and uh, Wilson studied the cats in cortex and the neurons used for local uh, sensitive to the direction selection and found that they are unique network scratch and uh, that can uh, simplest the feedback neurons networks then they proposed uh, the CAN and uh, the CAN is the feed forward neurons network it artificial neurons may response to uh, surrounding units with the uh, coverage and uh, it uh, encodes the convolutional layers and the polling layers and also the at the last we need uh, the fully connecting term uh, layers. Now, staying has become one of the research hotspots in many scientific fields, especially in 
cutting class frequency field. The network is widely used because it can avoid the complex um, pre-processing of the image and directly inputs original uh, images. And the uh, field matrix is the set of the flexed weights and can be seen as the constant uh, field uh, filter and the filter is the kernel. For example, we do uh, this image recognition and the image uh, classification with the image is the bird or is the dog, is the cat. And first we scan the image and we don't uh, do the image pro, uh, pre processing and uh, to just use the original images. And uh, then we can use the, the kernel to uh, minimize the, the size of the image and use the, the maximums to uh, make the uh, data more smaller and it's uh, easier for us to calculate the results and then use the, the uh, fully connect work to uh, to output the results and it will get uh, many uh, labels and it's a mate, it's a bird or a dog or cat and uh, that's uh, and uh, in the convolutional neural network spread we can see it will have the convolutional layers and uh, it's about uh, the folding uh, pooling layers and the uh, uh, neural network uh, and the uh, fully connecting to layers let's first uh, take some details about uh, the uh, convolutional layers and uh, this uh, names list the multi kernels convolution that has the many missing before. The output of the previous layers is used to as the input of the current layers. It is the uh, convalent with the convolutional kernels of the layers and served as the output of these layers. The convolutional kernels of each layer is the weight to be learned. Similar to uh, FCN, after the convolution is complete, the results should be uh, biased and uh, activity through the activation functions before being input to the next layers. And the pooling can count the, the nearby units to reduce the size of the input for the next layer. It uh, includes the max pooling and the average calling these two methods. The four most lacker the maximum value in the small square area as the representative of this uh, area. And uh, we can cal uh, calculate uh, the values like that. And uh, it's a uh, slight direction so like the in Z. And first we should uh, from the left to the right and then from the next area to the left to the right. First let's see. And we should uh, uh, to compare the each values and then select uh, the uh, maximum values and filterings in the, the next uh, areas is uh, 48. Like that, we will get uh, the smaller the uh, smaller size uh, matrix, and it will help us to calculate. And this is another. A complex uh, uh, neural network, recurrent neural network. This neural network uh, captures the dynamic information in square data to uh, predict showing connections of the hidden layers nodes. It can class think things crystals data. RAA can keep uh, context states and even store learned and expects related information in context uh, windows of any links is different from traditional neural networks. It extends the in uh, space and uh, time sequences. In other words, the hiding layers of current uh, moment and uh, the next uh, moment are related. The RNA is widely used in the scenario related to the sequences such as the video constraints of image uh, frames audio consistence of clips and the uh, uh, consistence of the words. This is the semantic diagrams of RNA, the units of the hidden layers connect and uh, send uh, message to each other. This is a structure of the recurrent neural networks and input layers also have the uh, 
hardened layers, output layers. So because the hardened layers, this the node and can is uh, connected to neighbors and also and we have the time relationship and uh, it can um, solve the time and the sequences and the speech and these uh, problems and uh, this is uh, for the recurrent neural networks it's very clear that the previous time x to the uh, t minus one will affect uh, the current time and the current time will affect uh, the next times and the is the cost the, at the same layers and uh, uh, at the same layers so at the same layers the many nodes then connect it or at the same layers then the previous the times and the will uh, affect uh, the current times and the current times will uh, affect uh, the, the next times and uh, so Okay, let's draw the um, pictures. We can easily know the scratch of the different uh, RNAs, and uh, they have the one and one to one, and uh, one to many, and uh, this is many to one get a real result, and also many to many have the two styles, and uh, this one is uh, to calculate the output, and this this node will to affect. Uh, the other ones to calculate and also the input will also affect uh, the output and then uh, to move the another areas and will affect uh, as the other uh, result and uh, this one is just uh, to uh, directly to calculate the output and this one and uh, this uh, just uh, to one by one to calculate Cost RNA may face gradient disappearing problems. The LSTM it promotes long short term memory applies to the scenario which with a large gap between the recurrent information and the point where it is needed. It can connect the previous information for a long period of time to the present task. This is a scratch of the edge. We can add uh, the touch functions and uh, and this uh, sigma and to uh, to add this uh, hardening layers and uh, to make the uh, models have the memories. It can remember many information about uh, the previous time. As we know, these neural networks cause uh, they are neural network has many layers and a large quantity of data parameters. It will be easy to cause overfitting problems. Regularization is very important and effective te technology to reduce generalization errors in machine learning. It is especially useful for deep learning models which tend to have overfitting due to uh, device data parameters. And uh, researchers have also proposed many effective technologies to prevent uh, of overfitting encodes the common method in and uh, we uh, there will be the uh, l1 l2 and uh, explaining the training set and uh, also added the noisy and transport data and expanding uh, the training set and also in in the deep learning we use the drop out the scratch and uh, if we want to limit the learning capability of the method reduce the, the a model complexity avoid overfitting problems. Uh, many regularization approach add uh, the parameters parameter uh, theta as the and uh, to the object functions g. We uh, denoted the regularized uh, object function as the uh, g. So large values of the uh, alpha and uh, composed to more regularizations. Generally, in deep learning, we only add the constraints to a fine parameter uh, W instead of um, bias. The mirroring is the bias usually requires less data to fit accurately. And uh, add the uh, constraints uh, often lead to unfitting. Now, let's learn the regularization method one by one. First, L2 regularization. Look at the formula. We add the L2 parameters norm quantity and uh, to the prevent uh, overfitting. 
we can easily get the formula be, uh, belongs to optimization method such as gradient uh, uh, correlationship and method. If the G is a secondary optimization problem, the, op the model parameter may be further represented as uh, uh, the W's responses. And this is adding the control factor to original parameter and uh, where the lambda is the uh, engine values of the parameter hysteretic matrix. Second, let's talk about uh, the L1 regularizations and the regular is the similar with the L2 regularization. It's uh, it just uh, uh, add uh, the plus test like that. And uh, then we use the uh, uh, granting uh, method to solve these problems like that. To update it to add uh, the uh, the the plant the planted functions to our uh, AMR functions and our cost functions, and uh, uh, our two regulars doesn't directly reduce the parameters to zero, but uh, uh, ma makes the va values close to zero. And um, but uh, L1 regularization can make the many parameters reduced to uh, zero. That will help us to uh, cut uh, down the uh, data size and uh, it uh, can help us to calculate uh, the gradient descent. The most efficient way to prevent overfitting is increase the training data set. The larger the training set, the smaller the probability of overfitting. And the uh, data expression can save time and uh, perform it well sometimes. And drop out is a common and a simple regularization method in deep learning. It was widely used uh, since 2014. When we train the model, the train up randomly discard some inputs. And uh, drop out is the iteration method. It combines all sub networks results and uh, obeying the sub networks by rapidly dro uh, dropping the inputs. Compared with width delay and the uh, normal constraints, the method is more effective. It likes uh, to cut down the sums uh, nodes and uh, uh, to help us uh, to minimize uh, the data size. That uh, is also to over to avoid overfitting method. Now we know how to make our model to avoid uh, overfitting. Now let's see how to make our models more if. Uh, efficient, find the right uh, parameter more quickly. We know that there are various uh, improved uh, gradient descent algorithms for OOP. We used uh, to encapsulate uh, different gradient descent algorithm input our object. This is the uh, optimizer. Why we improve algorithms, there are some reasons. Uh, accelerate uh, algorithm convert and avoid uh, over assaulting local extrema. Simplifies the mirror parameter setting, especially the learning rate. So how many options uh, when we training a model? I will introduce uh, some common ones and the common GD optimizers and the moment terms optimizer and uh, add a grader and the error data. And this now let's take a look at the moment terms optimizers and one basic improved to add the moment terms terms for the uh, delta w uh, i w g i that's the uh, weight and uh, then denotes that the weight co re uh, corrections of n iteration as the delta g i and uh, we can get the following um, formulas. And uh, it means that there is a small ball, and uh, if we put it into the surface randomly, so the ball run, uh, roll down an uh, error surface. The moment term terms is equivalent to giving the small balls in the source. And uh, firstly, let's see its advantage, and it will enhance the stability of the gradient uh, uh, correcting direction. And uh, reduce the uh, mutations, and it is stable in area where the gradient uh, descent. And uh, the ball 
uh, grows faster and faster, which helps the boat quickly oversaut the uh, flat area and uh, accelerate the convergence. A small boat with inner sole is more likely to roll over some uh, narrow local extremer. And uh, let's see some uh, disadvantage. The learning rate data and the multi terms alpha need to be uh, manually set, and uh, which often requires more experience to, to determine the, the parameter value. That means we should take time on it. This is another optimizer, Adam Optimizers. How it uh, appears, Adam is developed based on the uh, Adigrad and uh, Adi uh, data. A dam meetings the two additional variables um, mt and uh, vt for each variables to be changed. Let's see the following the formulas of each variables. And like that, we can calculate uh, the mt right list. And mt and vt are moving average of gradient and uh, square uh, gradients. For the statistic perspective, MT and VT are estimates of the first moment and the second moment of the gradient respectively. This method attempts to compute adaptive learning rate for each parameter. This is very useful in complex neural structures because different parts of networks have different sensitive to weight adjustment. A uh, very sensitive the part usually requires a smaller learning rate. It's difficult to complex the to um, mentally identify the sensitive part and uh, set a uh, learning rate. It be made uh, the better optimizer at the present. And uh, there the problems is we you know store the m and the v as the vectors of zero. They are biased towards to zero, especially joining the initial steps to win the um, the uh, up beta and the bit one, the beta two are close to one. To solve these problems, we use the MT and the VT. The formula is uh, here, and uh, and we update uh, the weight by the formula. Although the rules involves the manual the settings of the uh, eta and the beta one and beta two. That is much uh, small, uh, much simpler. According to the experiments, the default setting are this and uh, beta one, beta two, and the epsilon um, maybe is the uh, eta. It will be equal to zero point zero zero one. In practical and uh, the alpha is uh, converged quickly for the convergence situation and uh, reduce uh, the eta. And after several times of reducing the standing local uh, extremer will be uh, uh, converged and other parameters don't not need the adjustment. Next one. Note that MT is the current uh, gradient uh, terms and uh, uh, this one is the equivalent to the current uh, learning rate. If the gradient model is too large, the weight cannot judge, uh, judge out of the extrema or the uh, converge, and then we need to reduce the learning rate to fancy the convergence. This is the uh, uh, visualized compromise uh, of these optimizers. We can really see that uh, uh, which uh, optimizer is very goes very fast. We can see the error data and error data they go very fast, the yellow line, and uh, uh, to first uh, to uh, go to the uh, minimum st station. Okay, till now we have finished the important part, the scratch of the new networks, and uh, what useful of these components, and how to minimize the loss function, and that may be very hard for you to understand. So you should study it more carefully. In next video, we will introduce the applications. And thank you for your watching. Bye.